Hey everyone, it's been a while since I made a video, so I thought I'd uh, show you a video of what I've been up to. And in today's video, I want to show you uh, my little setup collection here of Nerd Mining Machine. And these are a Bitcoin mining machine, and uh, specifically solo mining. So um, let me show you the lineup. I start off with this one first. This one is the BitX Gamma 602. And um, I picked it up from Solo Satoshi, and this day for about 100 bucks. This little device here have, can have a chance of finding you 3.125 to 5 Bitcoin, at least more than 3 Bitcoin, like 3 point something Bitcoin at this time before the next halving. So um, I sure, I was like, okay, I'll take a chance, I'll play that. So pretty much, what, unlike a lottery ticket, every 10 minutes, it try again and try again. So, so, and the more I look into it, I said, okay. So as you can see, I picked up another one and another one. Pretty much, I d fell into this rabbit hole and <laughs> now continue collecting these uh, mining machines here. But it's pretty fun if you like to tinker with them and if you're into tech and stuff. Um, so my next one here I, I picked up is called the Nerd QX++. This is the new uh, revision 6.1 with the um, upgraded um, connector here. This is the XT30 connector that can handle more amperage or power so it's, you can push it for overclocking um, and this one is rated to go uh, 4.8 terahash on stock right now I'm running all these on stock so the fans can be quiet so I can do a quick video and um, I, I was able to push these to 6 and these all go above 6 and it's fine running on stock um, this one can go 1.2 I forgot to mention this one so 1.2 then this one goes 6 and 6 and um, I picked this one up from uh, Mine Shop EU. This is from Oversea. It took a little bit, but it got here. Very nice. Um, I, I I like that shop. The only thing is there is um, that weight because it's Oversea, and um, and also because of there's a, an import duty tax, so you get taxed a little bit extra on delivery. So when Solo Satoshi restock, I can't help myself, and I picked up another one. So now I have two of these um, Nerd uh, QX plus plus. Um, so you, at least you can see the difference. I do know this one come came with um, heat sink here, as you can see. There's some heat sink here inside um, for the I guess the V chip. Um, it, it does it does matter. Uh, this one I don't see it, but uh, temperature wise, this runs slightly cooler. Not not a big difference, but slightly cooler. So I think adding this thing might help. So that's maybe something that I will tinker down the line. But one of the first thing I didn't notice is um, is uh, these power brick that came with it get really really hot, especially when I push it running at six terahash, and um, it does get hot. So I want to be safe, so I, I didn't like comfortable um, it to run so hot, especially if you're gonna run it 24/7. Um, I guess the rule of thumb to say is don't run it more than 80% of what it's capable of, and so. Um, once uh, you hit over 80, then um, you don't want to leave it unattended, especially if you're going to be away from the house. <laughs> so, oh yeah. so the, um, the Solo Satoshi one, it came with a 124 watt power brick. The Mine Shop came with a 120. Both of them are um, 10 amp, uh, 12 volt. Both of them are 10 amp. So um, the slight difference on 4 watt um, does not make a difference when you try to push it. So one of the first thing I did upgrade was um, the power supply. I uh, picked up this, uh, let me see if I can show you. I should have prepared better. But I picked up this um, power supply here from um, Solo Satoshi's too. If I can, I picked it from them. I like to support them. And um, this one is a mean well power supply. Um, is for rated at 450 amp at 600 watt. So this is 600 watt. When I run these on high, at most it's about like 100, 103 watt. So no more than 205 watt total, right? So I'm way below the, uh, even below 50% for the efficiency. So I can, um, I'm planning to hook up another one because I have, more, I have, I still have headroom to still below the 80% rule for um, the Nerd, uh, what's that, Ox X, no, Nerd Ox. X, <laughs> damn it, the name is tongue tied, but that'll be in another later video. Um, 
but yeah so one of the first thing I did is I upgraded the power supply and um, let me see if I can show you or oh, I have it here so these power supply um, use the XT30 connector here um, the brick here it came with a 16 gauge uh, AWG um, thickness of the cable but there are some here like this one is only 18 so I see 18 is just it would do but it's too thin um, I like it to for less heat because we're gonna be running this in 24 7 so I picked up um, these here for at um, 16 gauge as you can see the 16 gauge versus the uh, 18 gauge 18 is common but 16 gauge you see it's, it's a bit thicker and um, I picked up on Amazon I can put links if you guys are interested so all these pre-ready right I just cut it the other end and then put terminal on them so it, so it looked like this so um, as you can see it yeah so it looked like these terminal here um, so these are 16 silicones um, gauge here for the um, for the the, the minor branch but for the AC cord here I went overkill I got a 12 uh, gauge or 12 AWG uh, thickness I figure for less heat probably don't need to do uh, 12 but I go why not so I just did a 12 and it can handle it so you can see here uh, here's your your line your neutral your ground and it, I, at first I was going to use um, fork terminal but then I decided not to and go with ring terminal instead so these are now um, uh, what's that heat shrink uh, capability so all you do is crimp it and your heat shrink all built in one it's very nice uh, I look like this uh, I, I, I can put a link if any guys need it but these M4 screw down there um, are roughly uh, uh, number eight so I use a number eight uh, ring size and they fit pretty well uh, let's see what else oh, yeah so yeah so you just put it in you just crimp it and then you heat shrink it and then it, it will come out nicely um, snug like this sorry it's a, it, it will look like this when you heat shrink it uh, what else I think this is all for now uh, let me see I am running to my uh, node here I, I, I have another computer a small computer that I'm running umbro on it right now and then I am running a full-size uh, Bitcoin node so all these are running t locally to my Bitcoin node here at home that that can be another video or something but yeah that's it for now sorry I got sidetracked a little bit but um, thank you for watching guys